So what is going on bees? I know this is a different kind of video, but I was curious, how far can I push my system to where it just decides to stop working? And well, I came up with a plan that hopefully would. And it was to render a 4K video at 60 FPS using CUDA, then streaming at 1080p max settings, then recording at 4K 60 FPS while watching two YouTube videos and have two random tabs open for whatever I need to do. And my god, the results are insane. I was not expecting what happened. But anyways, let's get into the testing and see what happened. So first up, we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now the overall experience was very playable. The graphics were set to ultra, averaged around I would say 80 FPS, sometimes dropping down to 70, and the odd time dropping back up to 110. Now both of all those FPS ranges are very playable. If you want more because you know you're streaming or you have a high refresh rate monitor, just turn those down and well, they shall rise. Now there was a one weird thing that did happen though through the whole experience of recording and that was I spawned in and my FPS just tanked down to the 20s, 30s and at one point dropped down to the teens and I'm not and I'm not too sure why because there's still some room left on the video memory the, there's still RAM it may be misread it may be the software misread what was going on and it dipped into the page file and so it caused the FPS to drop right down but I'm not too sure why maybe it was an anomaly I'll try to do my testing and see why it did that and uh, I will let you guys know but overall you could play stream record and render and play this game if you wanted to but I wouldn't advise it even though my CPU or your CPU may not be maxed out and the reason why is your renders are actually gonna take a bit longer depending on what's going on and what kind of CPU you have even though it's not maxed out it won't have the horsepower in the tank still because you're playing to use if it needs it at some point in time during the render. Alright, let's move on to the next game. So the next game I decided to try out was Battlefield 5. Now everything worked except there was something else that was kind of weird and that was I couldn't stream for long periods of time. It would stop working, but yet there's still VRAM left to use, there's still CPU to use, there's still RAM to use. The only thing that may be causing the issue was a driver update, but I don't see a driver playing a factor here. Um, overall though, the experience was playable besides that. I would say the FPS averaged high 70s, mid 80s with the odds spike up to the 90s on ultra graphics now remember there is a penalty for rendering streaming and recording all at the same time i usually average 140 to 160 on battlefield 5 depending on what's going on so there is quite a big hit in performance but it is still playable just like the last game if you want more fps turn down the graphics get those frames, kill those noobs, and you'll be having a good time rendering, recording, and streaming because you gotta do what you gotta do when it's crunch time. So for the next game, it was Metro Exodus. Now, weirdly enough, this game had the same issue as Battlefield 5 with the streaming. For some reason, it could not stream, record, and render at the same time. And again, there was still headroom to use for the VRAM. The only thing that might be stopping it again was the driver and the GPU was almost maxed out. So that may have been one of the issues too. And, ha and unlike the other two games, this game was a slideshow at times. There was a point where I was fighting this ghoul looking thing, shot him, and the game pretty much froze for a second. 
it was at like 2 FPS and it came back up but it only played in the 30s to 40 FPS mark 40 if you're lucky um, it was in some sometimes in the 50s but as soon as you got into any sort of action it dropped right down so of course I would for sure turn down those settings get those FPS up so it's a more cinematic experience because the game is very very well put together it's one of the games that I can always jump back into and play it and it's feel like it feels like I never played it in the first place so in conclusion is this kind of thing practical let's discuss yes and no if you're getting paid for time like the more videos you can render the more you're getting paid no don't do this of course you guys already know that like I'm, I'm pretty sure these guys those guys are not watching this kind of video but if you're like a youtuber like me a casual youtuber uploads a video every other day every second day you could do something like this um but of course depending on what games you're playing you're gonna have to drop down those f those settings and the sl and the render is gonna be a lot slower like i said in the first game even though this horsepower is still in the tank it doesn't have all of it and that horsepower that the game's using the cpu might want but can't have So guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys found this interesting. I actually had a blast doing this kind of testing because I think back to my first rig and at the time it, it was the top of the line rig. It was a Asus Z87 Prime motherboard, an i7, seven, oh sorry, i7 4770K, a GTX 1070, 16 gigabytes of RAM, G-Skill RAM, a killer power supply, a good case. It was a state of the art computer for that time. And you couldn't do this on that kind of rig. And then my second rig was a quad core i7. So it had that hyper threading, pretty much the same CPU from three generations ago. Cause Intel did that whole TikTok BS. And well, you know how that went. All right guys, so if you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know. And I'll see what I can do. As always, thank you for watching and have fun while you're gaming.